My name is Marius Løkken. I grew up in a small place in Norway called Hemsedal. It's a valley surrounded with big mountains and it's among the most popular skiing destinations in Scandinavia. When I turned 19 years old, I moved to Oslo, the capital of Norway, to start a bachelor degree in marketing. With me, I had my closest friends from Hemsedal and we had a great time exploring Oslo together. I had to find a way to honor Andreas. So I decided to get a tattoo of his portrait. And new people I meet always ask about my tattoo. That way I got to tell his story to people he didn't get the chance to meet. What kept me alive that night was the fear of dying and the fear of not knowing what comes next. We humans have some basic instinct in life-threatening situations and it brings out more power than we know. My instinct told me to act and I managed to escape after 20 stab wounds. There was no option for me to surrender. When I got out of the hospital, nothing was like it used to be. I felt frustration, anger, hate, my muscles were gone, I was weak and I couldn't get any sleep. I was digging myself deeper and deeper into a depression. After a year and a half, I had built up motivation to get my life back together, and I knew I had to make some changes. First, I started working out five to six times a week to get back my physical condition. This was when I experienced the close connection between physical and mental health. I established some routines with working out and by getting up at 7 a.m. as the rest of the population does. I built momentum from the people around me supporting me and cheering me on. Because of my networking during my life, I had a lot of friends there to help me get back on my feet. To move past the incident, I had to separate the accident from the person who did it and forgive him for the damage he caused me because hate just tore me down over time. My tools to get back were basic. It consisted of physical training, structure in everyday life, and socializing with friends and family to help me get past the bad days. My motto in Norwegian goes like this. Kan jeg, så kan du.